Here we have Singapore again against Malaysia. They're brought back to the middle. Brought back, the fight is stopped and they are brought back to the middle. And this is a position where we're somewhat familiar with, with the half guard lock being applied from the athlete in the bottom. So you can see her stretching her opponent's leg there, using her two feet, using those hooks. That's a very uncomfortable position for the opponent on top. So what she will look to do before she can pass this, she will try to clear those hooks from her opponent and try to move into side control, clearing the legs. So here she has good head control. That gives her the advantage on top. And as you can see, she is creeping that right leg of hers slowly up. She will probably look to slice that knee looking to pass. You can hear the coaches shouting for instructions. Um, again, a big help for competitors. Certain angles, certain things you can't see, and the coaches are there to provide the athletes with that information and that guidance. Yes, they do have a clear perspective yes. from uh, the side of the mat. So here she is trying to free that right leg once again. While the Malaysian is getting that underhook there. So what she wants to do is get a deeper underhook and move to her left. She can possibly go for a sweep or take the back from that position. And she uses that to, okay, almost recover close guard. So she hasn't locked her guard yet, but she is working towards that. So now she has, oh, a good passing being shown here. Now the opponent with the red belt is going for the back take. She needs to get both hooks in, mm -hmm. in order to get four points here. So what the They're saying to keep it down very tight? Keep the weight, I believe, uh, okay. yes, to prevent the movement. So what the person in the bottom is trying to do is prevent that left leg of the Singaporean from putting a hook inside. Mm -hmm. And what the, what the Singaporean already is looking to do is trying to put that hook inside. So what she needs to do is turn her to her other side and get that hook in. But I believe she may also be hunting for a submission here. Or a mount, actually. So she's looking to free that right leg and go straight into a mounted position. That position will also give her an additional four points. Sometimes uh, they do get stuck in a certain position for quite a while. Yes, that that's quite happens quite often here in Jiu-Jitsu, especially with high-caliber athletes who know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. So you'll see a lot of that during the fights. So here they are st still in a half guard position. The half guard is not locked, but I believe the Singaporean is focusing on attacking and controlling the upper body with head control here. I believe the coach just yelled out two minutes to go in this fight. Mm -hmm. So we are past the halfway, halfway mark. So here you can see the Malaysian in blue, her arm is, be, her right arm is being controlled by the Singaporean in red. That arm is across her face, that is a very bad position to be in. And she is able to reverse the situation despite that. And freeze that arm. Okay, now it's her turn. She needs to try to pass here. She needs to clear the half guard and get to side control. So here you can see her wrapping her opponent's head. She's in a good position to do that as her opponent is 
Opponent's back is flat on the mat. So she has less than uh, two minutes to uh, and try and again, score. the position is reversed. They end up standing and the fight is back on its feet. I can't quite see what the score is, but I believe it's a close fight. Still anyone's game. Sweep attempt. Nice sweep attempt. But no score. No score. Malaysia is able to recover and no advantage was given for that. 39 seconds to go. And Singapore in red pulls guard. This is crunch time now with 30 seconds to go. They both have to be very active and try to score. Hustling. It looks like the Singaporeans coming up with a two, but Malaysia is stuffing that really well. They are, they are both going to try to fight for the top position here. And this was a really good fight with time running out. Uh, that was a close fight. Very close fight with the Malaysian winning the fight two points to none. Mm -hmm. They both gave it their all. And I believe this is a good, good sign for Annie as she will be the fighting the winner of this in the finals. So is it possible that um, some of them have been Annie's opponents in the past in other tournaments too? I'm pretty sure Annie has fought a few of them, if not all of them. Winner, Kate Boyle, Cassandra, Malaysia.